Welcome to this video where we will be exploring the world of private GPT. I'll demonstrate you how this incredible tool works and guide you through the installation process on your own system. Now let's start with the basics. Are you familiar with ChatGPT? It's a powerful AI model that can handle a wide range of tasks from generating content to coding. It's like having a virtual assistant that can answer any queries you throw at it, covering topics from around the globe. Imagine a situation where you have important business reports stored in formats like Excel or PDF. Now you need to extract out certain piece of information from these reports, but you are concerned about maintaining their confidentiality. That means you cannot share these reports with anyone else. One solution to your problem is uploading your content to ChatGPT and asking the queries about the information that you are looking for. But that means the data will be transmitted over internet. So what other options do you have? Here enters Private GPT, the perfect solution to your requirement. Private GPT is an innovative open source project designed to provide secure environment for interacting with your documents. So with Private GPT, you no longer need to share the private documents with big corporations as it offers a local open source alternative. Simply Private GPT is a chatbot that can answer any query related to the documents stored in your local system. So you have your own private chatbot and you are not even sharing the data, the documents with anyone else over the internet with the power of Private GPT. Now you might be excited to see how Private GPT actually works. So before getting into the installation process, I'll show you the working of Private GPT. So here, as you can see, I have this repository with the name Private GPT and it contains several subdirectories and files. I'll share the link from where you can get this. So this is my source document folder here. So whatever documents you want to in extract the information out, you put those documents into this source document directory. So this source document directory inside this private GPD folder, I have put a Python cookbook over here. So I want to inquire some Python related queries, right? So I have uploaded it over here. Now let me go to the visual studio where I have loaded this project. As you can see in the source document, I already have this Python cookbook, right? Now there is a file called ingest.py. This ingest.py is actually helps me to pre-process this document, the source document, so that they will be ready for uh, being queried. So I'll run this file, python ingest.py. As you'll see, as I'll run this, it will say loading new documents and it has loaded 706 new documents. So I have uploaded only one file, but it says it has loaded 706 new documents. So let me show you when I'll go to finder, I'll open this cookbook, right? So you can see it contains 706 pages. So it has loaded 706 pages. That's why it is saying that it has loaded 706 new documents and it has done pre-processing. It has divided the data into chunks. So it has converted into 2968 chunks of maximum 500 tokens, right? Uh, and data is still being processed. As you can see, the ingestion has not ended. Now you'll see ingestion is complete. You can run private gpt.py to query your documents. So now ingestion is done. Now this data is ready to be queried. Let me tell you, do one thing. Now I'll run the file python private gpt.py. This is the file which will help me to interact with the documents or query the documents. It uh, asked me to enter a query. Now let me enter the query. What is list comprehension in Python? So it will take time of 10 to 20 seconds, but it will give me the answer and will also give me the source from which it has actually extracted this information out. Let's wait for the result. 
So as you can see, it is giving me responses. It has started giving me response like list comprehension are the concise way to create list based on the result of an expression. They can be used for both readability and performance reasons when working with large data sets or complex expressions that generate multiple values at once, such as mathematical operations like exponentiation in Python maths module. List comprehension is also useful if you want to create a list based on the result of an expression without having to write out each element individually using indexing assignment statements within loops, right? So it is quite a correct. Now let's see from where it has reference. So it will give you four sources as well. So here it has taken this reference list files iterator gen. This is the first reference, right? This is the second reference where you can see it has referred some source for list comprehension, right? Then this is the third source. And this is the fourth source again. So as you can see, it has taken some references from the document see the doc the reference document is python cookbook third edition dot pdf so it has taken the reference from the document that i uploaded and has given me the response which is quite accurate now as you have seen how incredible tool this is let's see how you can get it installed on your system so first of all if you want to install private gpd search for this repo over internet and you can get this repo i martinez and private GPT. You'll get this repo, click on it, and first of all, go to the system requirement session. As you can see, your system needs to have Python version 3.10 or later. You must have C++ compiler installed on your system. Let's start and follow the steps which are given in this readme file. So first thing that we need to do is we need to clone this repo. So let me copy this link so let me open up my terminal and here let me type the command git clone and this is the link which I've copied from there. This will take few seconds and get the repo clone. I can check this as I have this repo in which has the source document folder and certain .py files. Now, Next thing that I need to do is I need to install all the requirements which are mentioned in dot in this dot txt file. So for this, let me go through the documentation once again. So once we have cloned, we I have to run this command pip3 install minus r requirements dot txt. I'll copy this command from the here and let me go to this directory first private gpt and here i will run this command pip3 install minus r requirements .txt. so it will so as you can see it will say it is saying requirement already satisfied because i have already installed this but on your system it might take certain time and it will install all the requirements and once it's done you will see this success message as we know that these chatbots are working on some models behind we have this llm large language model so this private gpt is providing a link this is the link for the model you can download this model from here this is some 3 gb file it might take certain time this is the file that would be downloaded on your system then i will go to my this private gpt folder which i created here i don't have any models folder so i'll create a models folder over here And I'll paste this here. What you have to do is you have to paste the downloaded model into the repository of yours, but you need to create a new folder with the name models and paste it over there. Third thing that it is saying is copy the example.env file to .env file. I'll run this command over here and you will see the file has been a new file has been generated with .env name. So if you want to see this, let me do ls minus la 
so here you will see this dot env file has been created let me open this folder into visual studio so that you can have a better look at the file structures so this is the folder in models i can see i have this model pasted over there in the source documents there is one text file which is there it is an example text and this is dot env file so this dot env file contains certain uh, variable setup now simply have this example source document right i can let me let me go through the document first or what we can do is i can uh, remove this from here and paste my source document what am what i am looking for i'll go to this private gpt folder and source documents i have pasted this i'll go to visual studio as i can see i have this over here now i'll go to the terminal so here i have two files ingest.py and private gpt.py these are the two files that are creating that are doing all the magic right so first i have to ingest the data i'll run the command python 3 ingest.py see ingestion is done it is waiting for something like it has loaded the documents it has split it into the chunks now it is waiting like we are waiting for it to get completed now see ingestion is complete now we'll run python private gpt.py file this will load the model and will help me to query the database so let me ask a query regarding suppose list only so how lists are better than sets in python now you can see the answer so as you can see you can easily install private gpt on your system by following these instructions given on this github repository so the link of the repository is there in the description of the video you can click on the link and follow the instructions and get your hands dirty with private gpt thank you